guys welcome back today is friday march the 12th and i am back with another dollar tree slash 99 cent store haul and as always i always do the dollar tree haul portion first because most of you guys have dollar trees um from what i understand a lot of you guys unfortunately do not have 99 cent stores and so for that reason you know, I um, do the 99 cent portion at the end. Um, so if you have a 99 cent store in the area, stay tuned as soon as I finish the um, Dollar Tree portion. Now, um, before we get anything started, I'm gonna re-announce that we are on our last days for the um, Easter basket contest. Um, so I'm giving away um, three Easter baskets, a girl Easter basket, which is what you see here, um, also a, I can't reach the other ones. I have a boy one and I also have an adult one. Um, but what I am going to do is link the video in the description section of this video down below where you can see those Easter baskets. If you want to join in on that contest, all you have to do is be, um, in the United States. Sorry guys that are in other countries. I wish that I could ship stuff, um, overseas and abroad. Um, so you have to be in the U.S., um, you have to be a subscriber, and you have to comment in the video linked, not this video, the video that is linked in the description. You're going to comment your name, and well, I'm sorry, the word bunny, and then your um, location. So for example, I live in Houston, so it would be bunny, Houston, Texas, and so you would do the same. Now, I do have to reach 165 subscribers by March the 20th in order to do that drawing and then I will ship the um the winners um the baskets will be shipped directly to you um long before April the 4th which I believe is Easter so you'll get them in time so no worries on that the only thing is that I do have to reach 165 subscribers I think I'm like at 150 so I'm 15 shy which is not a huge it's not a huge like um you know, mountain to climb. So hopefully we will hit that goal. Um, I will make the announcement on the 21st and we'll um, show a video where I will draw um, in front of you guys the names. And if your name is called, all you got to do is reach out to me. We'll connect and then I will let you know what to do next so that you can get your Easter basket. So there are three, a boy one, a girl one, and one for adults okay so let's get started because i have a lot of stuff and of course i hate to make my videos run long but they always do they, they always do so i'm gonna get started first with um the dollar tree so as of late you know i've been trying to get more into crafting um and what i want to do is i want to start making stuff out of felt now if you go if you guys go on um pinterest they have like thousands of the most adorable things made out of felt. So what I did was I went to, um, I think more than one Dollar Tree and these are the colors that I found. So if you see stuff flying around, it's coming off the felt here. So I found it in red. You're getting, let's see, 11.75 inches by 48 inches of felt. So here we have it in red. I also got it in white, of course, um, same amount. I found it in this purple color, a light purple, like a lavender. Um, also found it in black and green. So obviously I need some more colors. So hopefully they'll have like, you know, pink and, and more options out there than what I found. I don't think I have blue, no, I don't have blue, but they have the most adorable adorable like little things that you can make um using felt on pinterest and so i want to try my hand at that um i think it's um something that looks pretty simple based on from uh what i've seen and it doesn't require a lot of material you basically need some scissors and you can do it with a glue gun um you can find silhouettes and shapes and cutouts on the internet or you can freehand it if you're good at drawing um and um, also like a sewing kit if you want to sew yours um, and there's special kind of needles that you'll need and special kind of thread that you'll need but glue gunning is like the easiest thing ever so you literally literally like five or six um, uh, what is it called um, 
supplies and then you can just start crafting away and you can do this with your kids you can do this with your friends you can do this by yourself or with the grandkids as well so i will start on that um hopefully sunday depends on what we have planned for sunday um but what i'm going to do is i'll do um, like a test one first to see you know i want to get the hang of it and then if i'm able to do it successfully then I'll video one and start uploading, um, you know, what I made. And my hair's kind of crazy today. I don't know what it's doing. It's, it's doing crazy stuff. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Another thing that I picked up outside of the felt were these notepad, notepad that it says Farm Fresh. And for those of you, and there are many of you out there, um, who love the farmhouse look, um, I think this notepad is calling your name. So it says Farm Fresh. I took the liberty of taking it out earlier to kind of look it over. Look at that adorable pig, the silhouette of this pig. And when you're done with this notebook, when you filled it out, you could probably cut this out and use this elsewhere in crafting or sticking it onto something else. Um, it's, you know, metallic. Now it's not, it's, it's paper. I could tell you that, but you could always, like I said, cut it out. And then there's like a little magnet holding it closed. So it says Farm Fresh. Here's the little magnet. And you've got this gingham print in black and white. You open it up where here you have kind of like that galvanized metal look. And here's the notepad. Um, does it say how many sheets we're getting here? Uh, I don't see it on the packaging. It is a green bar product, but it doesn't say how many sheets but nonetheless this is adorable and here's the other magnet that helps keep it closed so you just close it like did I close it right nope not doing it right here you go look how adorable this is so if you have a friend who ha who loves this farmhouse look and you're putting together a little gift set for them this would be so cute also in a little Easter basket for an adult friend that has their home in that um, farmhouse look um which is extremely popular it's been popular for a few years now um i think this would look so cute in the little gift set um or a gift basket easter basket and a dollar a dollar y'all okay another item i picked up since i'm gonna be glue gunning it up over here um i picked up these finger protectors i've never used them but i'm sure that they work I, i've seen them reviewed on many other channels um for the other YouTubers that do Dollar Tree hauls. Um, but I usually just allow myself, I, you know, I just get burned or I get something and I try to stick it with like, like a chopsticks or a pen or something, which is not the way to do stuff. And so I picked these up, you get three and they are finger protectors. So they're to protect you from the, um, the deadly um, glue gun. So, so that you don't get burned, you put these on your fingers. So I went ahead and stopped passing them up and went ahead and purchased them. Okay, another item. My hair is driving me crazy, y'all. I have to do something with this. It's like, I think it's like the way that it curled. I'm sorry. Let me see if I can. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, that's a little bit better. Because that's just like this one big thick. Uh, it, it's getting on my nerves. I don't know if it's getting on your nerves, but it's for sure getting on my nerves. Okay. Another item that I picked up, cooking concepts, was this sponge holder. So what we normally do is we have like a little dish and you put the sponge there and then it, you know, it doesn't always dry properly. And then, you know, after a while they, they get like this odor and so you're like constantly either replacing it or bleaching it or whatever. And so this thing, um, plastic and clear, so it's neutral, can go with any kind of decor. It's supposed to stick to the side of your sink we have a stainless steel double-sided sink so i'm gonna stick it to the side and then you put your little sponge in here and it has holes so it can drip it can drip dry and it's by cooking concepts i picked it up where all the spoons and and the cooking utensils are at um, it's not a new product i'm sure you guys have seen it a hundred times but i wanted to go ahead and pick one up um, for that specific reason and speaking of sponges, I also picked up these Scrub Buddies Heavy Duty Scoring Pads. Um, it says for tough cleaning. Um, it says this product may scratch some surfaces to avoid damage. Test scoring pad on a small, inconspicuous area first. So um, 
I've already got in mind some stuff that I'm going to be doing with this, um, which I've used these before. And you're getting a pack of five, which they're saying is a value pack. So I went ahead and picked them up. Okay, some other items that I picked up, which I thought were adorable, was this um, set of four books. And um, I don't know, I just thought the, the message was adorable. I got all of them in the set. And these are books that I'm going to donate. I do not have small children, and I do not know any, there's no one in my immediate family that has small children. But I thought they were just so cute, and they're great starter books for younger children. So this one says, um, I love mommy, and they're hard, hardback books. The pages are hard as well. And it, I guess it has a little story about this cub bear with his mom. And it's a short story, so these are really great for bedtime because you don't want the ones that like drag on and on and on. Like you're not trying to read War and Peace to a child when it's nighttime. You're ready to go to bed and I'm sure um, you want to get them their bedtime story in there. Um, and so you want something that's going to be short and sweet. And this is going to be one of those type of books. So this one says, I love mommy. This one says, I love daddy. And here you got lions in lieu of the bears. Um, and I just think this is, again, you know, the little artwork. It's just so cute. This reminds me of uh, Simba and his dad, Mufasa. Okay, and on, on this one, this one says, I love grandpa with the koalas. Look how cute the little koala bear is. So adorable. I wish I could have a koala, but like a little baby one. You know, one that wouldn't grow up, it'd be little, and I would just carry it around. Um, and then here it says, I love grandma, and it comes with the little bunnies, and I think this is so cute. This one is specifically adorable and would look, all of them would look great in an Easter basket, but this one would really look great inside of an Easter basket because it ties into that whole Easter theme. You know, not only the color scheme, but of course the bunnies. Okay, another item that I picked up, guys, you can get clothes. I'm sure a lot of you know this, but if you've never been to the Dollar Tree or you've never seen that they have clothes, I got a tank top for a buck. And I, they had it in red. They had it in blue, um, like a royal blue. They had it in a navy blue, and they had it in black. And I got it in all of those colors. Here's a black one. Just wanted to show it to you. And all it is is a tank top. So you can layer it up under something, or if you want, you know, you're going to be outside it's summertime you're going to be out in the park or at the beach and you want to layer it on top of that um you know it's lightweight um or if you just want to lounge around the house and you're like a you know like a t-shirt tank top kind of person that lounge you know uses that kind of clothes to lounge a dollar a dollar so i got four of them for a dollar so i was super excited and picked up all of them and want to share that with you and i've seen it at several stores because i average um, about five stores that are in my immediate area and then I, every now and then I'll venture out um, because Houston is a very large city um, and so I'll venture out and if I'm in another area I'm like you know what there's a Dollar Tree let me check it out and I've seen this at several stores so you're more than likely probably to find those at your stores also picked these up because I'm making a gift set and the color scheme of this gift set is going to be silver so I'm looking to find things that are in that line with the color silver, sparkly, um, you know, like um, any anything that has to do with silver, basically. Because I'm going to make this cute little set that I saw on Pinterest. And I'm going to be giving those away in the future, which I will announce. So it's just a miniature manicure set. Um, you have your uh, nail file, your, um, what is it called? The clippers, nail clippers, tweezers, and a little pair of scissors. And then you have this little package that's in this iridescent silvery kind of color to carry it around in and this is great to throw in your purse because i don't know if you've ever gotten a hangnail you've broken one of your nails at work or it's jagged and you have no way to file it this is small enough to carry in your purse and at a dollar a really good deal and also you can throw it into a gift set um i found those by the register okay i picked up um additional prayer cards this is the second set that they had. The other ones had like feathers on them. And this one has kind of like 
paint splat uh, splotches or whatever you want to i guess that's what it's called um you're getting 20 of them and they're by the in-store brand um, crown jewels which is another dollar tree brand um they're just beautiful let me see if i can pull one out for you guys um what i have done with these in the past is i have mailed them out to friends family members um you know just for encouragement or just on the regular or if they're going through a very difficult time and i've also done it um anonymously to people that i know um per, um you know that i know are you know maybe they were just diagnosed with cancer um maybe they're having financial difficulties um you know things are going on in their marriage so i just mail it to them spontaneously and well well anonymously is what i'm trying to say and then they won't know that it, i'm the one that sent it but um and i try to pick something that i feel would tie into that person's specific situation so this is what it looks like today's prayer um and then here's the back you can also leave these in random places you know like um on cars or in stores inside of little um you know buggies you can send them to nursing homes um you know to um i wonder if you'd be also able to donate them to like cancer hospitals and stuff like that you know obviously we have md anderson here which is um you know a hospital that is near and dear to my heart um i wonder if you could buy like a lot of these and at only a dollar you could maybe afford to donate um them to the hospital and then they could then pass them out maybe the candy stripers or somebody could pass them out to the patients i think maybe that might be a good idea as well let me put the video on pause real quick guys i'm going to move some more stuff into the scene and i will be right back okay guys and i'm back okay so um following up on a previous video these cute squishy pens are back i hadn't seen them in a long time they have a huge variety um i've already picked up uh, quite a few of them i showed some in a previous video i cannot remember which ones they were um i know a pineapple was one of them but here we have this adorable adorable watermelon slice of watermelon he even comes with his little seeds and then the stem of the pen is in a matching green and then of course the popcorn they also had like a waffle with syrup and butter they are just so adorable and these are cute for teens tweens adults even for you know um easter baskets if you guys are the type to stock up early um for like christmas and stuff or to make donations or you send care packages to you know your college students or um, persons serving overseas in our military um these would make great little throw-ins if for nothing else they just make you smile and you always are going to need a pen at one time or another they're just so adorable so they're hard to pass up i also picked up some ionic glue um i love this glue and i love how it comes out like a almost like a, a neon blue kind of color like it's a really cool color that it comes out in but it dries you know clear it's uh it just says everlasting lash glue it's 100 percent vegan if you're wanting your eyelash glue to be vegan it is and um, it gives you instructions on how to apply it and of course they always carry the ioni lashes i'm doing gift sets for you guys that's a whole other set of gift sets that i'm going to be giving out in the near future and they are going to include lashes and i also picked up the ioni glue so be on the lookout for a future video with that announcement i also picked up this tie-dye um you know tie-dye is really popular right now um it's a notebook with 80 sheets and they are lined so i'll show you the inside of that and of course it's spiral bound with um what is this color here i think it's silver i don't know i can't tell because of the lighting but so it's a cute little notebook um also same thing great for gift basket great for easter basket great for um you know um what are we what were we just talking about the 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 gift the boxes that you send you you know what i'm talking about right if it, if it comes to mind, then I'll bring it up again. If not, um, I hope that you can read my mind and know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, another item that I picked up are these two-piece um, paper craft crafter square stickers. They're two-piece and they're pop-up. Look how cute they are. This one says lucky and this one says happy. 
and they've just got this beautiful summer spring kind of look to them i think these are adorable and again they're pop-up stickers so um be on the lookout for these if you're a collector of stickers or if you have something in mind that you'd like to do again same thing if you mail out packages friend mail these would look super cute on some friend mail um and who wouldn't want to receive really adorable stickers another item in the stationary aisle i found were these um, plastic folders um they are three hole punch they have pockets they come in a variety of designs and i picked up this one for the simple fact that it says sweet and it has this ice cream cone with the cherry on top and you got the sprinkles so it's all there and i believe you got your waffle cone too so i think this is just so cute and it you know is above and beyond the standard boring um folder okay so also picked up these creepy creatures this is ages three and up and it is a grasshopper so my plan um because my sons do not watch my videos this i know and what I was going to do is I was going to glue one um, to like the ceiling or to the wall of one of their bedrooms. And so, you know, to, as to freak them out or put it in a path where they would run into it. Um, but unfortunately, I've already been busted. So I'm going to have to look for someone else to play this trick on. Uh, but it, again, these are great little toys for, you know, your kiddos at home that are interested in insects. Um, this to me is like creepy. And I've seen... You know, everything's bigger in Texas. And I have seen some giant, giant, giant grasshoppers bigger than this. Look how big this thing is. Look how big. It's it's like the size of my hand. I've seen them larger than this on my way to San Antonio. We stopped at one of those public, um, you know, like rest. Uh, it's like a rest stop. And they were in the bathroom. Oh, my! I never ran out of a bathroom so quick in my entire life. They were larger than these. So, look. I, you know, if you ever are in Texas um, and you've ever stopped at those rest stops, and you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, another item that I found were these. I think these are late. Were these supposed to come earlier, like during Valentine's? I did not see these in Valentine's um, during the Valentine period at all. So I'm thinking um, they arrived late, maybe because of that that polar vortex or COVID or who knows what. But we got a tote bag. And as you can see, it says love and you can hang on to these till next year or you can use it as a bag to put your anniversary gift um, or you can just carry it around because it's cute. And so you got this um, canvas material, really pretty. Here's about the size of it. Hopefully you can tell with my hand. I also found it with this um, little saying. It says just love and love is in cursive here and the letters are in pink and it's the same size. So um, be on the lookout for these. I've also seen other people haul them. Also found these, I cannot describe the material to you. Um, I have no idea what the material is, but I found these cute little um, either makeup bags or pencil bags. And this one says, you're gorgeous. It's in neon green, really pretty, great for teenagers, um, care packages, tweens, um, adults. You know, anyone that you think would be able to use one of these cute little little bags. And then, of course, it zips shut and it does feel like it's very wipeable. So, you know, if you, it would make a really great makeup bag. Um, and it says, be happy on this one. And this one says, just adorable. They may have found, had a fourth one. Uh, this one is on a really bright hot pink. Um, if they did, I did not pick it up and I can't remember why. But these are the three for sure that I um, saw but usually like they say that Dollar Tree does things in fours okay another item that I picked up were these color craze LA colors nail polish with hardeners I picked them up in these two colors let me see if we can get the camera to focus without me dropping them this one's kind of like a what kind of purple it's like a purple color and then we have like a teal um, I just, this one I really, really liked. I just thought the color was beautiful. It's somewhere between almost like a mauve and a purple color. It is called, um, uh, does it have a name? It's called Spirit. So here's this one. Hopefully you guys can see the color. And I also found it in, uh, 682, which is known as Greek Isles. Look at that beautiful, 
almost Santorini um, kind of color, really pretty. Um, a beautiful teal color, and again, it's called Greek Isles, which is very fitting. Um, another item that I picked up was this up and dry shower claw clip. It has a little suction cup so you can hang it in the shower. It's supposed to resist growing mildew, and I guess it's for you to clip your hair up if you're not going to be washing your hair that day. Um, so that's what that's for. And what I really liked about it is how large it is. Look how big that is. It also looks like a face hugger from like the movie Aliens if you look at that. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Um, but yeah, huge clip. I always try to find the biggest clips I can find because my hair is very thick and it makes it very hard to find clips that will hold my hair, even rubber bands. Because I'll try to, you know, put my hair on a ponytail and it'll wind up breaking the ponytail holder. Not rubber band, ponytail holder. Okay, other item that I picked up was this container. So it's a two quart canister. Um, they also have the larger ones, which I have a lot of, but I don't have this size. And these are great to store your like your grains, beans, you know, if you have brown sugar, um, you know, all kind of items. You can use them to organize. And I like the neutralness of them. And they have areas where you can label them. You can't see it, but it's right here. You can label it like right here, or of course you can always label it in the front and they have measurements on the side. A very easy way to get your cabinets and all those um, areas, you know, under your bathroom cabinet, um, under your kitchen sink cabinet, your pantry, easy to get it organized. You can also use it to hold your pet's snacks. Okay, another item that I picked up was these, were these baskets. So I picked up these two baskets um, they are Easter baskets, okay, but what I plan to do with them, because I do like the pattern, is I'm going to buy a matte black, um, maybe like a Krylon, is that what it's called, Krylon spray, spray these black and then drill holes at the bottom and use them as planters, because I'm going to be redoing my patio and I want everything to look, you know, kind of like very sophisticated, um, with beautiful black planters, I want everything to match. And so that's what I'm going to be doing with these. Now they do have a little tiny design on the side. You probably cannot see it. Maybe you can. It's like little bunnies and flowers. Um, what I may wind up doing is taking the, um, the handles off or I may leave it, you know, just there by itself. And you really can't see it because it's tiny. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll have to make up my mind on that. And the last item from the Dollar Tree I picked up was this Bath Burst. It is a bath bomb by Spoggles. Treat me. And it is a rainbow. Look how adorable that is. How cute is that? Again, same thing. Care packages, guys. Um, friend mail. Um, what else? Uh, Easter baskets. Birthdays. Um, and, of course, Mother's Day is coming up. Okay, so now we're moving into the 99 cent store portion of this haul. So if you don't have a 99 cent store, obviously you don't have to stick stick around, but I'm going to go through it again really quickly because as much as I try, I cannot get these videos to be short. Um, I found this lip gloss and they had it with various Disney princesses. This one is Snow White, of course, and it comes in an apple flavor. And I just like the shape of the little apple. And again, really cute for an Easter basket. Um, again, this one is 99 cents. Now we'll be naming prices because of course at the 99 cent store, not everything is 99 cents. This one is a very heavy duty. This thing is heavy. And the, um, the cover of this is very, very thick. Um, it's a dollar 99 and it says today is a day and you've got these beautiful sparkles, these little polka dots and some of them are metallic. It is a premier notebook. It has a hundred sheets. And so what equals 200 pages, we're, you know, talking about double side. It is, you've got this, um, um, what is it called? Can't remember right now, but it is lined. And they even have an area for you to put the date at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it is spiral bound. That's a word I was looking for. Okay, another item that I was um, came across was this beautiful photo box. Um, you can color it if you want to. You can leave it as is. This would look really pretty if you want to use it for photos, if you want to use it to organize, you know, your closet, um, your office, um, where else, your craft room. 
imagine the possibilities and you can leave it just in its black and white setting which is something probably I would do um, and it matches my bedroom so I really like that um, because I like my storage to match but really pretty um, and again this one was a dollar ninety nine okay I also picked up this very giant pot remember that I'm gonna be doing some um, organizing redoing our back patio um, wanting to put in like a pergola and then you know set up some real really pretty patio furniture and plants of course this one was a dollar 99 it's very giant does it say how big it is um no um i wish i could show you well you know what let me show you this bottle of water so this is how big it is um to compare so it's pretty large um i'm gonna probably put like a spiral juniper or something i bought two of them um and also picked up these right here this is a repeat buy they are four cups with lids and straws and look how they are so they look like the ones you get your lattes in uh, or your frappuccinos i'm going to be using it to build the little gift sets that are in the silver i saw the i um, got the idea on pinterest and so i'm going to be using these um to build those little gift sets that i'm going to be do, doing drawings for so be looking forward to that in a near um video that will be coming in the near future okay also i showed these before these are going to be giving to my sons for easter and i had the well i didn't have the idea my sister did what i'm planning to do is put cash in there they're in their 20s i'm telling you that's probably what they want they want cash even though they have they all work they all have their own cash but who doesn't want cash but my sister said why don't you put raisins in here and it'll look like the frog ate flies isn't that the like coolest idea so that's what i'm planning to do so it's going to have money in there and then you know as a novelty we're going to put raisins in there and it'll look like the frog swallowed the flies these can be picked up at the 99 cent store for 99 cents also picked up this um what is this susan jacobs Susan Jacobs is like now my girl. Every time I go to the 99 cent store, I look for her candles. They are very, very well scented. They have a lot of throw. Um, they come in various sizes and various styles. And of course, this one has my favorite flower, which I have on my shirt today, peonies. I love peonies. Let's see if we can read this here. It says blush peony and the scent is oh so good. And the other one that I bought of this size had a lot of throw, so I'm confident. Yeah, I can smell all the way over here. This smells beautiful. It's $2.99, guys. $2.99. If you were to buy, if you were to buy, guys, a Yankee candle or one from Bath and Body Works, you're not paying $2.99. You're not paying $2.99 on even on a good day. I don't know what kind of sale. The, the jar would have to be cracked for them to sell it to you at that price. And the final thing that I'm gonna show you that I picked up at the 99 cent store for this today's haul is I picked up seeds and I picked up a bunch of these little bird houses. They're in this gorgeous black. The seeds were 99 cents. And so I picked up several of these. And of course in black because I want everything to match in the backyard. And that's my friend draws this um, 99 cent store slash Dollar Tree haul to a close. I hope I was able to show you something that you will be on the hunt for at your nearest Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. Thank you as always, as always for joining me. Um, um, you know, I'm so appreciative of that, that you guys are out there watching my videos. If you did like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you are not a current subscriber, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell button so you can be notified of my next video. Guys, have a wonderful Friday, a great weekend. Um, catch you at the Dollar Tree, the 99 cents store. Bye.